Alright guys, just got on Lake Lanier. Um, we're gonna go try to catch some fish, just jump around. Um, they're gonna wide monster. You'd still win the race, but it wouldn't be a slaughter. Yeah, three, only... Mile an hour pontoon boat. Yeah, I know, only 300 horsepower, <laughs> God. See that? I know. Um, so we're gonna get out there and just see what we can do, guys. Guys, what I'm throwing is a spook. And on what we're doing, as you can see by the graph, if you come up here, you can see we're on this hump. We're fishing the hump. We're sitting on the outer edge and kind of in the deeper water. Um, our depth's messed up. Don't worry about that. Um, but the hump, we're throwing up in more in the shallow water. So what I'm doing, making a good long cast out there. I am on braided line. I can whip it out there. And I'm walking the dog. If you guys don't know what walking the dog is, it's that side-to-side -side motion of the bait. Um, you're pretty much hitting your rod down like this, and it's forcing the bait to go side to side, which is called walking the dog. You can do it with any topwater bait. It doesn't have to be a spook. You can do it with a frog, um, and that just messes with those fish, man. Those spots, those striper, um, even those largemouth will come up and they'll just wail on it. Especially those spots and striper. We caught a lot of striper today. Um, we're not trying to fish for striper. We're more of trying to catch those spotted bass. But those striper just get in the bunch and they'll destroy it. Um, but these spots that we're going to, we're not staying here a good 15, 20 minutes. Um, we're staying here a good 10 to 15 casts. Um, each of us, me and my dad are both fishing. Um, 10 to 15 casts and then we're out. Um, we're not wanting to stay at these spots long. We're running, we call it running and gunning. We're gonna hit this spot, we're gonna throw it 10 to 15 casts, we're out, we're on to the next spot. Throw it 10 to 15 casts, out, next spot. And you can hit that pretty effectively, pretty fast with this topwater bait because you're covering water. I'm um, really good, effective way to catch some good fish. Another reason why we're only throwing 10 casts, guys, is we're mostly looking for those aggressive fish. That's, that's mostly why we're catching those striper and then those spotted bass are really aggressive as well. Um, we're looking for those ones that are gonna bite, you know. Um, we're not looking for those ones that we're gonna want to throw a drop shot and just wait on. We we want them to come eat. We want them here ready. Um, which right now, this time of year on Lanier, they're whacking that top water and they're ready to eat. So, just a little quick tip for you.
that's a good fish right there guys good solid spot so we come to Lanier for a piece of water. I had one way bigger than this probably twice as big probably around five five and a half pounds come up and just miss it I mean he probably went two or three foot out of the water but three casts later call this a good one and get some more Another tank of a spot. Looking good one. Same spot. Another good fish. You probably should have kept that one. Could have got a pretty cool picture. Um, another good, solid, three and a half pound spot right there. Pretty fat. Let's get a release on her. guys i hope you got some tips out of this video um for top water and everything especially on linear for you guys on linear messaging me on instagram and everything um ask me some questions right now if you guys go out there top water's on um go out on those pretty much main lake humps and stuff points and you should be able to catch some fish so i hope you guys really enjoyed this episode please leave some feedback below if you really enjoyed it please give the video a thumbs up it really supports the channel and keeps me motivated to keep making these so until next time guys keep drinking your white monsters and keep watching chris's schmedleys i'll see you guys next time